this is Aaron Hobson with Red Hook Guitar and today we're going to talk about um, chord extensions. So we talked earlier um, in an earlier lesson about triads, um, what chord tones are, root, third, fifth. Uh, we haven't gotten to seventh chords but the seventh is also a chord tone and we will be doing a lesson on seventh chords. Um, for now we're just gonna make everything easy and talk about three note chords and triads. Um, so I just wanted to show this from the key of C again. So we've talked extensively about the C major scale. So we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, right? Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. That's your C major scale. So if you look at here, we have one, three, five, seven, the C, the E, the G and the B, those are all called chord tones. Those are tones that are normally in any chord that you play. Um, the basic ones, I should say. So then you have your, your two, which is D, your four, which is F, your six, which is A. If I kept going eight, if my octave is C, I kept going nine would be D, an octave higher, right? Um, 10 would be E, 11 would be F, 12, 13 would be A, 14. So when you're looking at these guys in between the chord tones, D, F, and A, those are extensions. These are notes that you can put on the chord that norm not, aren't, aren't normally in the chord. So if you've ever seen, you know, something say C9, well, what you're doing is you're playing a C major chord, C, E, G, and you're adding this chord, this, this non-chord tone, this extension, this color tone, D, to the chord to make it a 9. Um, if you've ever seen C sus 4, well, your fourth tone is F, right? So you'd add an F. Um, it's also known as the 11, C11, um, C6, C13, you'd add an A. Um, so that's just a basic overview, okay, to talk about chord extensions. So um, I'm going to start with two of the easiest ones. Um, I'm sure you've seen these a lot, the sus chord. <laughs> um, I'm sure you've seen D sus4, D sus2, A sus4, A sus2. Um, sus is short for suspended. Okay, so I'm going to start with the sus2 chord. So what you're going to do with a sus2 chord is you're going to add a major second um, to the chord. So, and the way that we're going to do that is we're going to take the major third down to the major second. So I'm going to go over these with you. So I'm going to start with the C chord because that's a nice easy, easy chord. So what I'm playing here when I'm playing the C chord is C, E, G, C, E. Okay? So what's my major third? My major third is my E here on the second fret, right? So if I take that, that major third off down to a D, now I have that major second. So when I, now when I play this chord, I have C, D, G, C, E, right? It's got this nice colorful sound. You know, a lot of people like taking it on and off. You get this kind of nice color tone. You can do that with all of your major chords. So here's your D. So when I'm playing, when I'm playing my D chord, I've got my open D, my A, my D, and my F sharp. So I think about my major third, which is F sharp, right? D E F sharp, and I take it down to that open E, which is my major second. So now I have D A D E, right? So. major third is C sharp, take it down to my major second, which is B. Now I have A, E, A, B, E, and I have this really nice chord. Um, F is another example, so I have F, A, C, F, my major third is A, right, F, G, A, 
If I take that down to my open G, major second, now I have F, G, C, F. Okay? So um, that's a suspended two or a sus two. I'm sure you've seen that a lot. So I'm going to talk about one more. I'm going to keep this one simple, and then I'm going to do another video because I like to keep these kind of short. I don't want to overwhelm anybody. Um, so I'll just do suspended twos and suspended fours today, and then we'll get into um, nines and elevens and thirteens and sixes and et cetera. So anyway, here, um, going back to my C, right? So my fourth away from my root of C. So now I'm going to do, before I took the major third and I brought it down a whole step to my major second. Now I'm going to take my major third and I'm going to bring it up a half step to my fourth. Because remember your four is a half step higher than your major third. So again, when I'm playing this chord, I've got C, E, G, C, E. So my major third is E. I'm going to bring it a half step to F. And now I have this nice... C sus4, C suspended4. Okay, now we're going to do it with D. So again, I've got D, A, D, F sharp. That's my major third. I'm just going to bring it up a half step to my G. So I brought F sharp, my major third, up to my 4, G. And now I have this suspended... the same with A. So now I've got A, E, A, C sharp, E. Okay, so my third, my major third is C sharp. If I bring it a half step up to my four, I've got a D now. I've added D. So now I've got A, A sus four. Okay, um, so then I'm going to do it with F again. So I've got F, A, C, F. So my major third is A. If I bring it a half step higher to my B flat, I have F sus4, F suspended four. Okay, and you can combine the twos and the fours too. Like, um, right in um, Stairway to Heaven, sus4, sus2. I mean, sorry, sus4, regular D, sus2. Or free fallen. Right? I've got D, D sus4, D sus4, D. Or the beginning to Tangled Up in Blue by Bob Dylan. I've got all from my A, right? I went from my, su my A to my sus4 to my sus2. People um, play around with the C chord, you know, in folk music. There's a lot of examples of actually um, George Ezra, blame it on me. He does that C to that C sus chord. of examples. Um, so D, A, F, you hear? Sus2 a lot. So anyway, um, that's just a basic overview. So you've got uh, these two. So you got chord extensions. So we talked about this. So we got chord tones are the one, the three, the five, and the seven. Um, Non-chord tones, otherwise known as extensions or color tones, are um, Two are the nine, the four are the eleven, the six are the thirteen, which are in the key of C, D, F, and A. Um, so we talked about today's suspended chords, sus2, you add a major second, and you do that by taking the major third back to the major second. You have sus4, you're taking the major third up to the fourth note of the key um, from the root. So hopefully that makes sense, and um, there's a lot to learn in terms of chords. 
Uh, I will be doing a video on, um, you know, putting the other extensions in, doing other different types of colorful chords, as well as seventh chords, um, adding the seventh tone, major seven, minor seven, dominant seven, um, minor seven, flat five, diminished seven, all of that. Um, we'll also talk about slash chords, what those D, D slash F sharp and C slash B and all that stuff means. Um, so anyway, hope that was helpful.